guys. Huh. Welcome to another episode of Drea and Friends. We have myself, Drea, here. And... Skrilla Fresh. And Sharif. Here. And we're going to talk about natural hair. You guys like my hair today? So, you know, nice little high ponytail. Um, some people will consider this natural. And some people wouldn't. So, I want to go into what is natural hair. From my understanding, I feel like... Or from my understanding, I, um, people told me that's into that Afrocentric, you know, lifestyle... Natural hair is the hair that grow out of your head. Not processed, not blown out, not with a um, a perm. I'm not going to lie, sometimes I put a perm in my roots because my hair is really, really, really curly. And in the winter time, I don't like it to be, um, I don't like to sweat and it go back into a natural curl pattern. So I do use a mild olive oil. Um, what should I say? It's not super because it's super strength. It's the normal, a mild, normal olive oil relaxer um my home girl she used a texturizer which is kind of like almost the same thing just no lie or whatever but mine don't have it says they don't have lie but anyway i use it at my roots let me you know get up in the camera and i put it so my roots could be slick and nice or whatever the case may be because if i sweat the shit is done it's going back to curls and <laughs> and then it's frizzy and in the winter time i like to wear my hair straight i'm not going front about that so what do you feel like natural hair is um yeah, basically, when your hair grow out of your scalp, you ain't putting no perm in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if, listen, if you put natural product in your hair, your hair is still natural. Like, you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, just like how you said, you put olive oil and stuff like that. Like, that's that's natural. Olive oil is, is natural. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you put, um, um... But I put an olive oil texturized, uh, um, uh, perm, so it's not. Because I do put well, the perm at yeah, the roots. yeah. It's an olive oil perm. Or I like, just like the way it like, my hair feels. When I had braids, I was using, um, I, like, for a while, I was, for, like, my first couple years of me having braids, I was using, um, like, Indian hemp grease. Mm -hmm. But then I, love that. But then I stopped, and I started using um, aloe plant, mm -hmm. aloe, aloe vera. I take, like, the jelly, the white jelly and the slimy part, I put that all through my hair. My hair be super soft. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. That's, that's what natural hair is, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't In its natural state. In its natural state. You don't put all of these chemicals and shit to, to straighten it, to make it curly, to make it into an afro, to make it slick. None of that, like, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that you just wake up and walk outside and like, that's natural. Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, just without all of the other extra shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like in some cases people do do, um, people do want a different type of easy go thing um i have <clears throat> friends who have um natural hair when they don't put nothing in it is their natural curl pattern um which is kind of like a little kinkier than mine and then i do have friends who have um soft curls uh and i feel like the easiest thing to maintain is sometimes a, a freaking wig that's why I'll be getting to that later on. <laughs> Not right now. Because um, I personally do everything. I, I do natural. I do semi-natural, I like to say, which is this right here. And then I do my wigs. Um, I feel like a wig is natural. I mean, not natural. It's easier to maintain. I'm about to say a wig is <laughs> it's, natural. It's easier Holy to maintain. Shit. Just because I feel like with my real hair, my, my natural curly hair is so much. First of all, you have to, I have to wash it. I have to put my kinky curly or something. Even though it's not um, a product, it, it's, it, it, to me, it holds my curls. So in the summertime, you have frizz, right? So I don't like my hair to get frizzy. So I put some type that that, and I feel like that gel is a nice soft gel. So it makes my hair stay the way it is. It makes it, you know, the curls stay where it's not frizzy. So it's still natural. I just put stuff in it to like hold my hair. So I feel like at the end of the day, me doing that or like twisting my hair at night and then after untwisting it so my hair could be, you know, won't mess up. Because even if you have natural hair, you still have to put stuff in it. You still have to put a conditioner to take care of your hair to make your hair nice and, you know, shiny and grow and all types of all the shit that you want to happen to your hair. But anyway, um, I just feel like with the natural look is a little bit more tedious as far as. Like, right now, my hair is blown out, right? I could just wrap it up, put in a ponytail, go about my business. If I had my curls, that shit would be real thick and curly. I had to 
brush it up, do what I have to do, make sure it's not frizzing and looking all over the place. And with the wig, I could just pop and go. Pop it on, twist it up, go out the door. He hates wigs, by the way, so whatever. I do. But I just feel like that is growing easier. up. Growing up, my grandmoms used to wear wigs, like, you know what I'm saying? She used to wear wigs. Now you got it these. scarred you? It, no, it, it didn't scar me. It no. just, you know what I'm saying? She was at a certain age where it's like, you know what? I'm not doing my hair. Like, I'm not paying to get my hair done. I ain't going nowhere. So you I'm feel chilling, like wigs like, are, like, for older women? Yeah, like, okay. in, in, in our era, yeah. in our era, back in the 90s, Women who wore wigs well, they were, 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 were grandmas. Were, were, were grandmothers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's be honest. Well, now, yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. Um, now you got chicks that's 15 years old with a wig on. Like that's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy to me. Like you 15 and you got on a wig. Like you got the meat mill braids under with a wig at 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't <laughs> like that yeah, shit. That shit is horrible. I don't, I don't like that shit. Well, like we also shit. have different textures of hair, too. So some people may feel like, based on their texture, it's a different type of, um, a different type, it's different hairstyles to do, right? So I was looking at a hair chart because I had put it on my phone. And I feel like my hair is maybe a 3C, 4A between, between that. And that's basically your curl, pat, your curl pattern. So one is straight, bone straight. I feel like Caucasian women have that type of hair. A 2A is kind of like a swerve. It's still straight, but it's like a little swerve, right? So I feel like maybe, uh, I don't know who have that, Persian people or some shit? Whatever. A 2B, you get what I'm saying? 2C, it get, as it get higher, it gets curlier, and then it get more tight and kinky. A 3A, 3B, 3C, 4A, I feel like those are mixed kids and Spanish people or whatever the case may be. People that have mixed hair. But, you know, you, you guys could look that up. It's uh, natural hair, your curl pattern. So, I feel like based on your curl pattern and your hair texture, some people may like different styles. And maybe you don't want to be bothered. If you have a 4C hair, you probably don't want to be bothered with that every day. So, you probably want to braid it up real quick. And you probably want to pop a wig on. And then for me, I like wigs too because I don't have to dye my hair. I did a lot of dyeing when I was younger. In high school and stuff like that. I had burgundy, I had red, I had like, um, a, I used to love this color. It was like a bronze color because I used to think it would go so good with my skin tone because my skin in person is like, I think it's gorgeous. I just think like I have a bronzed skin. I don't know. I may be conceited right now, but I just love my skin color. And I feel like the hair I do is like I'm in love with it. And I feel like the hair I used to wear in high school matched my skin color because it was like that that dirty blonde brown color. You know what I'm saying? Like all the little I do not know what she's saying. Dirty brown blonde color. Like Yeah, like that little what? nice what brown. Is, what is that? Like the like the door. You see the color of his door? Like a little darker than that. Like that you know that that brown. That brown that girls dye their hair is like that. I used to have that type of hair color with this Yeah. Anyway, so I, I can't do that no more in my real hair because first of all this should be cracking up. Like if you guys can see when I was younger, I used to wear um I used to do fab relaxer. And um what's the other perm? Fabulous. Yeah, Fabrolax is the older perm and Cream of Nature. Little Kimmy's always rap about Cream of Nature. Anyway, I used to perm my hair. And all right here, my, my real edges, it broke off. And I had edges this thick because my hair broke off. Wait, but, so you mean you didn't have no edges? I had edges, but my hair broke off. So it made my hair look like it was more edges than what it really was. You see how, like, say if, you see how you have a haircut right here? Yeah. So that would be my, it would be hair there, but it wouldn't be length. So oh, it'll okay, just be okay. like, like so a you thick had the ass. low fade. That's basically what that's. She had the low fade right here <laughs> on the edges. You know what I'm saying? I had that. <laughs> so what I did was I used to like part my hair and bring it down like a swoop. And I told myself I'm not dying my hair no more like that. And I did it anyway. And then my hair never grew back. It's never the same. My hair used to be very long and pretty and nice. Yes. And it's not the. I'm telling you. And it's not the same. So I feel like from this point on, I only wear wigs when I want to. Have a different look. If I want to straighten my hair in the summertime, because I'm not straightening my real hair in the summertime, and when I want to color, I feel like it's okay to wear wigs. It's, it's not. I just don't like the wigs that like a hat. Like if your wigs are sitting on your no, head like this, I don't it's so, like that. It's so, no, it's okay to wear a wig. I just don't like them. <laughs> like, it, I mean, you can wear them. It's okay. I it's mean, not okay for some, him because if I have a wig on, when I put my wig on, and I'm like, yo, how my hair look? He be like, I don't like it. That's so wait, it's wait, not wait, okay. wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. no. You only told the half truth. Why I tell you that though? Because I have real hair under it. That's what you said. I said you have real long hair under it, and you don't need it. 
That's why. You don't need it. You don't need it. Like, if you take your hair out from the ponytail and you do, and y'all ladies do what y'all do, and you part it on the side and you bring it down, like, it'll still look nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? It would, but I like to have the wig and stuff on. I don't know. But, um... We also said, what's acceptable natural hair, right? We just talked about that. What's, what's acceptable, acceptable natural hair? Because a lot of people feel like natural hair is natural. The natural hair that grow out of your head is your natural hair. Not when you put Acceptable like, a, like how? To like, what Like what are you, what are you talking you know, about? To like appease people? Or yeah, like, to appease people. Because you have a different world out there that like feel like, you know, I'm Afrocentric. And I just want to, or some men really feel like, like some Israelites. Like I was just telling him before. That um, I was on a train, and this guy was, like, really in me. Like, oh, what you doing with that hair, my sister? Because I had my hair blown out or whatever. And I'm like, what? And he's like, that's not your natural look. You weren't trying to be, like, the European woman and those other nonsense. So I feel like I want to ask the question, what is considered to you natural, um, acceptable natural hair? I feel like any hairstyle you wear is natural. I just like for a female to look good. Please just do your hair the right way to look good. Acceptable natural hair, though, I feel like in that type of world is the hair that grew out of your head, the hair that God made you with, that's bo that you was born with. Like, you don't do nothing to it but probably put grease and maybe, like, style or whatever like that, but you don't put a perm to make it soft or straight. You don't do none of that. That's why I feel like acceptable natural hair is. What do you feel? Um, yeah, like, just... It's, it's like it's many things that you can do. Like if you if you got like the um what it, what, what it was four C when your hair's like real kinky and I think it was and four um C. Look back at yeah it. I think that was the um that was the last stage four, yeah yeah four C four C like see he know I don't um know. I would say my hair was probably like four A mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and um. It would be tough to comb a lot, like when I had my braids or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And even when, even when I washed it and, and blew it out, and, and I had grease, and I was greasing my scalp and all that, mm -hmm. would like my hair would always break off too. Like I don't, I don't know why, because I'm not like like y'all females. I don't really know about all of the other stuff. I just wanted braids at the time. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I just started putting aloe plant in my hair. My hair it grew thicker. It was it was thicker, but it was softer. Mm -hmm. Like so, it was stronger, but it, it felt like 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 a feather. Like when I put my hand through my head, my hands through my hair, mm -hmm. like that. Like so, I like I would I basically wore my hair naturally. I just had it and I just had to braid it up and stuff like that. But like women, I get it sometimes. They just want to um, I call it a a, a quick fixer upper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta go crazy. I just I'm just gonna step out. I'm gonna go here real quick. Mm -hmm. Let me braid my hair up, throw the wig on, boom, and I'm out. Or whatever the case may be. But um now it's like it's more so like a trend. Like one week you might have pink hair, then the next week you might have green hair, and the next week you might have red hair, then the next week after that you might have blue hair. And now I feel like shit is getting out of hand. Like, yo, this lady had on uh, a silver Lace front, um, fishbone braids. <laughs> like how? Like how you do that? Like I mean, girls think it look cute, and that that goes that back. This goes uh, back to what I was saying for before. For the record, that don't look cute. If you got on a <laughs> lace front silver fishbone braids that's already made, and you just putting that shit on your head and you glue it, that shit don't look good. It don't. I don't know who lying to y'all. That <laughs> shit do not look good. But, don't I'm, do that. but I'm saying don't this. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this. You, men are so dumb sometimes. You don't have to be brutally young and say, oh, bitch, you ugly or whatever. No, but, I'm not but, saying, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not, not saying, saying that. that. I'm just saying no. in general. I'm speaking in general from a conversation you guys don't know about we had. And I'm saying this. A lot of the times, females, they think in their head, oh, if, you're, if, they're, if their friends are telling them the truth about themselves, they're like, oh, she just hating. Fuck out of hell. I better than her anyway. Because in their head, they've been gassed up by so many guys. I'm telling you how the world works. They've been gassed up by so many guys because they probably have a cute body or maybe it's something that they, that's attracted Niggas to them. Niggas lie a lot. Or, exactly. Oh, and they feel like that. I feel like men, it's, it's you, you guys, you black kings out there, it's, you, it's your duty. To tell us when we look fucked up. If we don't look good, just tell us, like, nah, babe, y'all don't look no, good right there. I don't you like that. that. But I, and I know this personally, mad girls be taking shit personal. Yeah, but guess what? But guess what? Do what? Not be they, do, they do take it personal, but I bet you this. 
if you say it to them, and if they really give a fuck about what you're saying, and they, and they, I bet you in their house when they're looking in that mirror, like he said that about me, maybe I should not wear this because it's also an ego thing with us too. If a dude tell us something. And the dude, and we like the dude, or whatever the case may be, or you the friend, and you a real friend, and you be like, yo, nah, I don't like that hair. Like, it don't fit you. Like, straight up, like, it don't fit you. I don't think that compliments you, or whatever the case may be. Is That's not it. A girl will really sit there and think about that shit like, damn. If I say something like that, like, I just told somebody about this girl here before, and she knew, and the girl was, like, thinking, like, I was hating. Bitch, no, your hair's not laid right. That shit look melted. It don't look good. Like, I don't like wigs. Like, I don't like melted wigs, and I don't like fucking wigs that like hats. Like, I don't like wigs that's like that. Oh. That shit look crazy. It should be flat. It puts look like it's growing out your fucking head, and if it don't like that, you ain't got the right shit. And I don't like the fucking scalp that's dyed mad light, and your skin is mad black. Don't do that. I don't like that. Don't fucking be your having hats. that they be having that fishnet. You know, you know what a fishnet. You know, you know, you know them sailors when they be on them boats. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and they be catching all them crabs and shit, and they throw that big ass net out there. They be having that shit on their head, bro. That shit horrible, and then so. the wig piece would be like on top oh, of that shit, that shit coming down. That shit look, Crap. that shit look, that shit look weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? That yo, oh, wait, that shit like it. a screen. It do. Like, I don't like it. Like I feel like, like you have to make it. be in the middle, and it's like it's like a screen. Right there, like yo, you got yo, y'all gotta do better, man. Got yeah, y'all gotta do better with and that you shit. You gotta know that on like that niggas notice that shit. Niggas ain't gonna tell you. But niggas don't say nothing. That's because you know why? No, because it'll come. It don't matter how you say it. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? So what? Bitches toughen up. A nigga, if a nigga tell me my hair yeah, don't look right, some of them like one time I ain't going front. No, I don't care about that. that y'all bitches need to stop it. Like let me see something. One time I had my wig on and I was out. This dude said, "Look, he was like, yeah, yeah, I like your wig and everything like that." He said, "But right here, you gotta go put it there." I said, "Oh shit!" I said, "What the fuck?" I said, "Why didn't you tell me earlier?" I went in the mirror and a little bit because I had used the B two. Y'all know what that is—the B two B or whatever the fuck you call that shit. Gotta gotta be gotta be whatever the fuck that is. Gotta be glued. I said, "Damn!" And I went in the bathroom. I wet my finger a little bit, pressed it down, hold it for like five seconds. It went down. It went back outside. Easy. It doesn't matter. You think I give a fuck? I know I got a wig on my head. Tell me when my shit is tilting, shifting, sliding, and gliding. Tell me. I don't want that shit to look like that. And y'all just sitting there looking like, damn, she got good pussy. Goddamn. No, I don't care about that. Cause if I see it, I'm gonna look at you. Why the fuck you ain't saying nothing about my hair? Even if I'm, even if you my homeboy, if this nigga right here don't tell me about my hair. I'm barking on him. Let us be out somewhere. Oh no, I'm definitely gonna and, tell your ass. And, and, and my shit look like, crazy. Yo, your shit First of all, I don't really like him because I can tell you right now he'll probably do some shit like this. <laughs> Pull it down. Oh. I, can see, I, can, I can see him doing that shit. I would. Like, I told you because he won't do some shit like that. Let me, and I'll be on man. Like, get the fuck off my hair. Like, so, yeah, tell me. What are friends for? Do you? you know what I'm that's true, but. <laughs> <laughs> do you think black girls want straight hair because of our society? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Literally, the only reason why we like straight hair or why we're taught to even have straight hair is the same reason why we only know about European history and not our own, like, all of this shit is fabricated and forced on us. Like, niggas don't know what... I, I, I And to add on to that, I love that black people now know about veganism, mm -hmm. know about, like, a lot of a lot of shit, a lot of information... Shout is out to Maya, because Maya, I, I follow yeah. her, Maya the singer, oh, and she's really into the vegan uh, yeah, trend, I, I would say, like on scene. a lot of famous black people that are doing it that are making other mm -hmm, people do it, other mm -hmm. followers, the natural shit, like, people actually walking around curls. Mm -hmm. Mad people was against the curl, curl Tracy shit, Ellis Ross, Afro shit like girls. Is Issa Rae. Yeah, no, nah, I love Tracy Ellis Ross. She and bad. It makes, she it bad. makes dudes, dudes get to see the train. Oh shit, it's funny. Mm -hmm. All my favorite celebrities is doing it. I had a regular. Alicia Keys, shout out to her. On, You're right about that. I feel like I feel like this too. I feel like it's our job, even females, because like I said before. Um, females tell each other or tell your kids at least you're beautiful and stuff like that. Raise your girls to be to know. Like let me see something about me. I'll be honest. I, I love my grandfather, rest his soul, God bless the dead, John Turner. Love him to death. My grandfather and I, I, I always carry this. I don't know if you feel this way. Don't agree if you don't. But I never considered myself to be conceited. I hunt around conceited people and I know what conceited is. Mm -hmm. Like I'll say slick shit sometime, but to act conceited, I don't feel like I did that before. Like I don't. You think I did? I don't think that. Be honest. No, but that's what you got conceited? Yeah, I don't feel like I do that. Like, in high school, junior high school, I used to hang with everybody. Like, one, this dude or whatever like that called my brother, whatever, Toon, shout out to him. Uh, he used to be the jokester, always pranking people, always joking on people. I, I cut I'll, his ass one time. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll sit there and I'll joke back. Or I'll take up for people in there. Like, people uh, people that he joked on, whatever like that. I hung with everybody. I hung with my crowd. I hung with the out crowd, which was considered uh, somebody I went to school with names. Sanu. 
I love Sanu. Shout out to Sanu. I still talk the to Indian. Sanu. Sanu. I talk to Sanu now. Sanu you remember? Sing. Yeah, I, remember, I, I remember to Sanu. Them. No, Gupta. Gupta. Yeah. Who was sing? Who was sing? Somebody else was sing. Rahindra, I think. I think it was Rahindra. Yeah. I but he was from the hood, though, so, like, he, he, that nigga <laughs> don't Chinese. count. Um, I, I still talk to Sanu. I talked to uh, a, another one we went to school with, Stanley. I talked to everybody. And I remember, I'm not going to say who, but I remember somebody a couple of years ago, I think it was over probably five years ago, somebody I went to high school with, and it made me feel good. They DM me, it was a dude, and he was like, in the out crowd, you could say. And he said to me, he was like, yo, he was like, I'm going to tell you right now, like, I, I really have so much respect for you. I love you. He said, because you never treated me like everybody else in school. You always treated me like I fit in. And I'll remember that forever. Oh, yeah. He was like, you never treated me uh, differently. Yeah, like, I used to sit, I used to take my, I used to sit with everybody. I used to go joke with all the, all the girls that people probably didn't think were that cute or probably joked on them and, or, you know, some people's situation, you can't help how you smell. You go to school, you have a certain stint. I wasn't raised like that. And I go, and that says, that says a lot. Cause I think, I swear, I think my grandfather, he raised us, his grandchildren. He used to always tell me, you never joke on nobody. Cause you never know what somebody's going through. Mm -hmm. He said, you, my, he used to tell me back in the day, his shoes used to cause, this is off topic, guys, but whatever, we'll get back to the hair. Uh, he used to be like, my shoes back in the day, my grandfather was born 1918, and he used to tell me his shoes used to cost a penny. So when I used to cry, and I'm like, my mother said she's not buying me these Nikes because she got to do this for my sisters, and we all got to wait. He used to sit me down and be like, listen, toughen up. Nobody's better than you. So he used to raise, he raised me and my sisters to, to know, like, we're beautiful regardless. No, don't ever be jealous of somebody because whatever they have, you have. That's why to this day I look at beauty differently. I always tell them, I'm like, nah, I look at beauty differently. My standards of beauty is different from everybody else. Somebody might say, oh, they're ugly, they're bad. I think a bad bitch is a bad bitch. There's no one bad bitch to me that look better than the next because we all offer different type of beauty. If you see, to me, Nicki Minaj and Rihanna and Beyonce in the room, I won't think none of them are better than each other. Me personally, because I feel like they all have equal bad beauties. Like, they're just mm -hmm. on a certain level. All three of them, to me, are on a beautiful type level. And to me, I feel like that's that. If you have another set of bad chicks or whatever, like that, or cute chicks, is to me, I feel like the levels are where it goes with beauty. For me, cute, bad, okay, mm -hmm. and you know, mm -hmm. and different, whatever. But I just feel like that. So I say that to say I never was the type of person to be all jealous or for me to want my hair straight because of society. Because I was taught, that's why I'm going back to saying, like, I feel like if you have a daughter, black men, if you have a daughter, females, you young kings and queens out there, whatever, raise your kids and tell them, like, listen, you're just as beautiful as the next person. You, my aunt, bless her soul to my aunt Karen, she used to take me in the mirror and say, you beautiful. She used to take my hair out, my real hair, and, you know, do all this stuff with it. Like, oh, this is nice and this and that. People will kill for your hair. You have natural beauty. Because I used to hate my lips when I was younger. Nobody knew that. What? I hated my lips. I felt like they were so big. It was too big for my face. I used to cry, like... By myself, I used to, I used to dead cry. Like, oh, I, hated I hated my lips. I hated my lips. I hated my lips. I hated my lips. Like sometimes people used to tease me, like, "Oh, you got duck little lips." I hated my lips. But as I grew older, older, older dudes used to come to me because you know that now I'm to this, the point where I'm getting attractive. People find you you're attractive at a certain age, and they used to be like, "Yo, you mad bad? Love your fucking lips." And I used to be like, "My lips." And I used to go home and be like. These ugly big shits. I don't like these lips, cause and cause at that time it's like you know you learn about you heard stuff. It, you heard it so you hear much. It, exactly, and you, you like I wish so my lips were like... a little smaller. But I grew to love my lips. Like I love my lips now, and especially now. Like I love to put. I love to go like this in pictures. I love to do stuff because I love my fucking lips. So I hate lips. that face that y'all make. Yo, I hate that face. <laughs> all that. I love my all hair. that silly shit. I don't. I never like that look, bro. So I'm just saying, <laughs> tell your kids, tell your daughters, especially if you have kids and you got daughters. Tell your daughters they're beautiful. I love when I see men buying their daughters everything. Like if you giving your daughter everything she wants and you just spoil her if she good in school, whatever kids be. I feel like you train her from that age to know what to expect from a man. So you teach your daughter how to be whatever. You hug her up, love her, whatever. I love that about men. But anyway, yeah. yeah. So I feel like it is society that makes black women want straight hair however you have to know your worth and you have to understand that everybody here is straight and i ain't got time all year around to do this shit this is what you know what's crazy this is what i want to say real quick before you move on right um a lot of women right a lot of black women don't get mad when y'all see white women with braids in their hair like as if like like hairstyles that you would get or as if that, we're that's, wearing it quote that unquote much. that's yeah. from our society don't get mad at them for wearing their hair like that when you straighten your hair. That's true. You put a part in the middle and you have it all the way down like how white women wear their hair. Like, don't get mad. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't get like, that you either. Know what I'm saying? I don't get that. that that's, like, that's, oh, that's they trying to be like us. Well, 
to be honest, if, 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 if we keeping it real, right? Mm-hmm. You a lot of that? them look at us and say that we trying to look like them, mm-hmm. like uh, uh, more uh, so the women. Yeah. Like when we like when women straighten their hair and mm-hmm. shit like that. Yeah. Everything, like, even when we got a nose, you used to have some girls that get it's not even a nose job anymore. You could get injections. I was looking at it on YouTube, um, Instagram. Oh. Yeah. So they put like a needle right here, right here, and right here, and they make your nose. My nose is very straight right here, but I do got like why. But you put your thing right here, and it makes it like that. I look cute like that though. Nah, you don't. I, I no, don't. no. Nope. Leave your shit natural. Like, Sharif, I don't look cute like this. Like a little nice, cute little nose. You look like Michael Jackson. Hell no. That's exactly how you look. That's fucking weird. You look. You look like. That's when you go to LA. That's when you move to LA. (laughs) When I got my nose more. You look like you could just take your nose off and like (laughs) put it in a jar of water to keep it fresh and shit. Like how old people do with their teeth. Like nah, don't do that. Don't do that. But see, look. Then you got you got the women that do um the makeup uh um what is it called beating their face and contour and all that shit yeah and they put that strip on their nose and they make their nose like mad skinny like maybe said they put that strip that little white powder yeah that, I don't know what that shit called Stella. but they be in the mirror for a while long and the shit be like right here and then the shit be like down here and then they what what is it called um they 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 contouring. No, but I'm saying they, they they blend it in. I don't all the yeah. names y'all got. I don't know what, what that shit is. It's consi- you put a concealer, you put the little dark concealer here, you blend it or whatever. I mean, me personally, like I said, I'm not a makeup person. I don't give a fuck. I look cute either way. I get. I'm not here to look cute for the girls. I'm here to look cute for myself and the guys. So if I'm getting a nigga I want, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I don't like to contour too much. Unless I'm doing like a, like I just had a, a makeup artist, I took pictures. I like to do a lot of makeup or whatever because I like my pictures to look a certain way. But uh, other than that, I'm not trying to beat my face every day and be wearing contour and makeup every day. I feel like if you wear that, it's something you hiding. And no offense to anybody, that's how I feel as a female. If you have to wear makeup every day, especially if you're outside of work or Whatever the case may be, like me, like I said, I sell lip gloss. I don't, my lip gloss I sell don't look right with a regular face. You understand? Like my face have to be beat to wear it. You can't just wear fucking lipstick, this type of lipstick, with no fucking makeup on. That look crazy. So, <laughs> what? That's how I feel. So anyway, like I said, um, that's one thing. Um, I want to go to the bigger they hear, the better, right? I want to know if y'all agree with that. For, like, if you see, like, that's more so for me to talk, talk about, too. But I want to know, do you guys see that? Like, for me, I like certain occasions where I'm wearing my hair big or, like, fluffy or, like, I guess, full. Mm-hmm. Because it looks sexy to me. I think yeah, hair that like that looks sexy. sexy. To, it looks sexy to us, too. Yeah, like, when you, you have I mean? straight, flat hair, it's all right, whatever. But I like to walk somewhere and people be like, who the fuck is that girl with that nice, full hair? Mm-hmm. I like, so I think hair bigger is better. I don't know if it's... Better of his big ass Tina Turner's or Diana Ross. I don't really like that for myself, little Shaka Khan. Yeah. I don't like that. I see girls like that in the summertime. A lot of girls have that like afro curly look. If you guys see that in the summer, I, the I, big I hair. I definitely love a big afro. You do like um, well, you do like a Marvel La Negra. Shout out to her. Yes, and a, and just like literally the old school style, like seventies, like girls walk around with afro. That shit is fire. Man. For real? Hell yeah. I, don't, I can't. First of all, my hair can't go into afro, so fuck y'all. <laughs> my shit, I be trying. No, I don't know how that look. shit. I used to, I see my mother with pictures from back in the day, and I'm like, Ma, how did you get your hair in the afro? And let me tell you, that's why I say natural look do take a time, take time, because she said back then they used to put some. Like spray and keep picking it. You gotta keep to, spraying to get it. To get it. To get it. Yeah, cause you, you gotta get it big. You gotta stay a certain way. Wow. Cause your hair don't naturally be that big and stay up like that. They be, remember, remember yeah, they nah, was um, wearing afros, dancing in fucking plastic. Yeah, and the, and, and they they shit was like perfect, perfectly yeah. round. Yeah. Now yeah. when I had my afro and shit like that, like it always like in the middle, What's like it always it kind of oh. like fall to the yeah. side a little bit. So it takes like time. you have to you have to spray it or yeah. do something to, to it, hold it to hold it. In place, like so, mm-hmm. yeah. So that, she said she'll be picking that shit and pushing it with the comb, wow, picking and pushing, fun. cause you gotta form it. So she yeah. be picking and pushing. I'm like, cause I saw a picture of her and she had these red ass back in the day. Let me tell you something. My mother nails is like this long, what? mad long with the red yeah. and the red lipstick with the little liner and the motherfucking little the old leather jacket. Shit. And she was on the bed with like a cat little pose. I was like, what the fuck is that, mom? You know it over there. You're looking cute. She was like, oh, she like put that away. Yeah. yeah, how you think y'all niggas got yes, you and sisters? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Straight out that afro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we gonna talk about something else now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
ain't gonna talk about that because she. Yeah. Nah, but you know, you know, you, you know. Um, one thing. Um, I always want to say like, um, to the women like, don't always think like natural is just your hair's nappy and and and, and it's in the afro like I, you know what I'm saying. Kinky. I, yeah, it's like um. I don't like that stereotype. We're like, oh, natural hair, so your hair automatically gotta be nappy, it automatically gotta be messed up, and or it's in a fro and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't like that because I know um, it be it's a lot of videos on YouTube with with, with um, women with natural hair, mm -hmm. and they have a whole bunch of styles that they put their hair in. Mm -hmm. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Like, it's so much stuff you could do. Is is products that they use that make their hair soft to where. It's easy to comb through and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It just, you just, you just gotta do your homework on it or whatever the case may be. How about your straight, the straight hair pros and cons? Like, I feel like when, as females, when we straighten our hair, especially using that heat to the hair every day, to me, it, it fucks up your texture, your, your curl pattern, and it also break. I feel like that's a lot of breakage. Yeah. That's why sometimes, yeah, I do, like, I blow it out right now. It, I didn't do it. Honestly, I didn't do anything to my hair. This is nothing. Like, I ain't, I didn't, first of all, this hair is dirty. I ain't washed this shit in, like, two weeks. And I didn't, I didn't uh put a hot comb in for, like, a week or a flat iron. I just wrap this shit up at night like that in a little bun, and then I take it down. And this is how it is. But, um, I feel like when I was going to the gym, I have to start going back into the gym. But when I was going to the gym, my hair was sweat out. Literally, if it's winter time, I'm blowing my hair out every day. Damn. So for like a week or whatever like that, I'll take time off and I'll just put my hand in point. Oh, I'll tell myself, you know what? I'm going to work out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and then leave the rest of the week because I don't want to keep blowing my hair out. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I will literally wear a ponytail or whatever like that to work like this. Damn. Just so I won't have to keep blowing it out. But it does break your hair off bad. Yeah, yeah because straightening you, 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 you going, you going against what your hair naturally does. What, what your hair naturally does. Mm -hmm. Like It's making it weak to it, me. No, that, that, that's why it breaks. Mm -hmm. Like, look, look. Perfect example. Something real simple. My arm bends this way, right? Mm -hmm. I can't bend it the opposite way. I can't bend it the way that it's not supposed to go because uh -huh. it'll break. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with your hair. You putting all this stuff in your hair and you trying to fix it to, to be this way and to look that way. What happens is it starts breaking off because that's not that's not the, the natural that's not its natural state. That's mm -hmm. not the, the curl pattern that it's supposed to be. How how early, especially since you have a daughter. You have a daughter too, Sharif? How old is your baby? Uh, nine. Not, nine years what? Months. Oh, about saying, no, oh, what? say what the no, fuck? No, no, no. I said, oh, you started early in the game. <laughs> I'm, I'm that was like, nine, he said nine, what? Nah. So, for, well, you have a daughter, so it doesn't matter. Do you think, how early do you feel? Vegan, what do you got? Is she not doing no makeup shit? And yes, let your hair be curly, and you're going to look at your mom and be like, oh, I'm definitely doing that shit because my mom is doing it. Everything is about influence. If your people around but you But listen doing, to what I'm saying yeah. to you. If she, we all, it's about who you're around too, right? We could raise our, and I don't have kids, I just say it because I'm the I'm oldest of four, mm -hmm. right? And I just feel like um, I, I'm a product of parents, and you guys are parents, so I could say what I experienced as a child or whatever. Um, I feel like, but we have to raise our kids and Niece and nephews, nieces and nephews. Kids is not the picture for you? I don't know. I mean... They say about 35, is, then it start getting a little tricky, right? Yeah, but I feel like for me, I'm not that type of girl that dream of kids, if that makes sense. Damn, that's actually lit. I don't sit back and dream. Like, I feel like if I get pregnant and if I make a decision, I probably will keep it. But I'm not the type of person who sit there and be like, oh my God, time is ticking. Let me have... I don't live my life like that. Because mm -hmm. I, I have so much I want to do. So I feel like if it happens, it happens right now. I don't know. Sometimes at this point, I honestly would say at 33, I've been on Instagram and fuck you people who putting up your kids because I've been falling in love with people kids. Like I see oh. little babies now at this. I'm serious. I'm seeing little babies. And I'm like, oh my fucking. Like I send it to my friends and I'm like, this baby is so fucking cute. If I had a baby, I think he would look similar to that because I really am attracted to dark skin men mm. on the low. I like all men. But my, I prefer dark skin. Like, I always had a dark skin boyfriend. Mm. You know that. So, mm -hmm. I feel like when I see these little chocolate little chip cookie boys and these little girls on Instagram, I'm like, oh, my God. He's so chocolatey and they got soft hair like me. I think that's going to be my baby. I think that's going to be my baby. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. So, right now, honestly, I don't know. But um, if I'm fucking with you and you and you slip up, better be careful. I might keep it. So, don't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. Because I'm to the point. No, because I'm, I'm to the point where. 
saying? I don't want. I don't feel like it's abortion is in my book. Like I'm mm-hmm. too old for that. I have my yeah. own. It's like why do that? Like yeah, I could, right. you know what I'm saying? You can take care of exactly. I could provide for my child, and I have a strong family foundation. I feel like at this point, but I feel like, um, yeah, I don't know. And I never, not knew. Like I don't know if I want. I, I, uh, right now, I kind of like. I'm kind of falling in love with people, kids. So I don't know. Hmm. I might, I'm I might cool. be thinking. Like no, no, I might be thinking about that. I might be thinking about it because I feel like now I'm telling you, like now, and me and my sister Karina, that's the one after me. Mm-hmm. Not to be off topic, guys, or whatever, but that's the one after me. And she really, like, we've been talking and stuff. And then I'm like, yeah, babies are cute. And I asked her, does she want another one? She have two. And she's like, yeah, she want another one. She, but she have two big ass fucking kids already. Shania is about to be 16 in March 25th. Is Yamel, she want another one? Yeah, Mel about to be 13 March 31st, that's but she won another guy. one. Yeah, she won another one. Huge yeah, she won another one. She won a baby, and then she feel like she, we come from, my mother had four girls. My father had six girls. We don't have a, no, and, or, no and my whole family is big. Like, yeah. even though my, the, the, we have, I have a big family, both sides. So, it's like, we don't come from a small family. So, we don't, like, I'm, I, I sat there and I had a conversation where I'm like, damn, if I have a kid, I'm a mom would pop two more out after that because Definitely, yeah. I feel like I don't want I that's don't want crazy. just one. That's crazy that you don't have kids because you're so used to having a big tribe. Yeah. Some people that have a tribe and you like, yeah, I'm gonna have some kids. Yeah, there. nah. Because I need that. My team. my whole thought process is I'm I, I want to have my own, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I mean, yeah. I always want to have my own. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so I don't know. But I do, I want to say how old, because I feel like for me, my niece, she's about to be 16. And she calls me, and she tells me about different hairstyles, and we talk on the phone and stuff, or she'll put it up on her Instagram story, and I'll put, like, what I want her to do. I feel like, and she's very, I'll show you her picture after this. We'll show you whatever like that. But she, she's very into, like, natural and curls. Like, she love, I love, love, love my little baby niece. She love her natural curls, and she's just so fucking cute. And she love her natural hair. So I feel like, what age do you guys feel like a weave is acceptable? My niece went on her prom last year, and she had a ponytail. And it was like a long ponytail. Everybody asked me, oh, well, why would y'all, you and your sisters, I said, because, bitch, my motherfucking niece GPA is 4.0. And she don't go outside. She don't smoke weed. She don't sneak around like we used to do. Like, she literally in the house. She go to karate. She did, she did, um, what else she do? She's in a police mm-hmm. athletic league thing. That's why she had a ponytail on her hair. She ain't no grown little girl walking around with makeup and stuff. So we love her, or and I should say mostly now my sister, because now my sister have them to herself. Obviously, she older or whatever now. But she, um, you know, I feel like at, at 16, you can put a ponytail in. Come on. What no. do you guys feel? No? no. I, I could drop all those. I should have had some females over here. Honest. Yeah, you, you yeah, me. yeah. You go first, cause if I, cause you, if you if I right, boom, autumn is if, if autumn is like yo, we got a, I got a four point pop. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm really about my shit. You see him about my shit. I'm doing my extracurricular stuff. I'm doing that. I'm on it. It's a prom club. that she probably just won't look different she, for that and one she, day. And she like yo, not even prom. Say if it's just regular, like yo, to, for the week mm-hmm. I just pop. I really want to do this. I feel like I would let it slide just because she earned it and she mm-hmm. showed me she was worthy of getting that. Mm-hmm. Like she was willing to work so hard just to get this one thing that she wanted. Mm-hmm. But my main thing is like teaching the value of like self, the, the value of self value. Mm-hmm. So like knowing that nigga, even if you got short hair, if your hair is literally like seasoned and you can't grow hair, like mm-hmm. that's mad girls that can't, they can't wigs grow. and all type of shit on. And now you see them and they got their hair out regular and they look rocking the natural. Because you understand that that shit don't mean nothing. You in mm-hmm. school looking at other girls like, damn, they hair's mad long. I want to have my hair like that. Mm-hmm. Nigga, be who you are. Be the best that yeah. you are too. Because all mm-hmm. you're going to end up doing is trying to look like somebody else yeah. in the long run. And I definitely feel like the weed shit is like, is this true? Girls be saying y'all wearing weaves and wigs to let my hair grow. You can let your hair grow. Um, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you could. Yeah, sometimes a wig could let your hair. You, it depends. Because sometimes, some, it depends. It depends. Yeah. Because sometimes with a wig, it can pull your edges if you're not doing it right. Thank God I have all my edges still because I damn sure be wearing a wig. He know that. I be putting them motherfuckers on. But a wig do let your hair grow because you know why? Um, The braids under it. Right? Yeah. So your hair is, is staying braided under the wig. You take it off, you let it breathe or whatever like that. You can massage the scalp or whatever. When you take your braids out, that's what they say when you braid your hair, your hair grow faster or longer. When your hair is dirty, it grow faster or longer. Mm-hmm. Right? So with the but to me, I feel like it works because when I wear my wig or whatever like that, by the time I take my hair out or if I don't wear a wig, by November, you won't see me with a wig no more. Mm-hmm. Like April, 
to November is where I wear wigs off and on with mm. exceptions of having my natural curly look or whatever. Sometimes it depends. But after that, my hair, that's the only time my hair will grow back. Like my hair two years ago when I had my wig, my hair grew back right here. And my dumb ass sat there and uh, colored it. Because I was like, nah, I, want that. I wanted that brown look. I wasn't trying to relive high school. And that shit said, doop, 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 doop. Oh. So I know for a fact, whatever kind of hair I have, I have to go to a, 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 a professional. My shit can't take dyes. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, just yeah, what yeah, I came yeah, up with. Yeah. Like, my shit, you have people that, yeah. that can't take certain things. My hair just don't take dyes. So what? What do you think, Swilla? Yeah, I'm not, I'm, nah, my, um, nah, I'm not, I'm not with none of that shit. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna tell you why. Because, This is my niece and her natural hair. Because, Why, why would you put anything else in there? Because she wanted a different look for her prom. Go ahead. Like, um, like with me. She got great eyes. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Yeah. Damn. Go ahead. Now, see, she like, fly. like, them, like with, yeah. with, with, with me, you, you gonna, um, you gonna, you gonna love how you look naturally without all of that other shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you gotta think about it. Like, like we, 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 we give our kids to school. Like, we send them to school for what eight hours eight out of the day. Do you understand what I'm saying? So. You, a lot of these schools have 300 other kids in the school, mm -hmm. so that's 300 other influences that they see in. Yeah. Or she might like this boy when she get to high school, but he's only giving mm -hmm. these type of girls mm -hmm. attention. attention. Mm -hmm. Nah, we're not doing that. You, you dig what I'm saying? You're going you gonna to be comfortable in your own skin. Like, you understand what I'm saying? You're not going to need to wear no makeup. You're not going to need to have no weave all down your back and wear all these crazy ass wigs and shit. Now, again, I want to be clear, like, I'm not knocking nobody who do it. Mm -hmm. Mine ain't doing it. I just feel like this, too. I understand you're what you're saying. Now, 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 when you become a young adult, and you got the choice. Then you could you could do whatever you want to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could do whatever you want to do. You live in what's my a house, young, you're what's not a doing young, none of that What's a young shit. adult to you? What age is that? That's what I want to go to get into. A young adult is not even, for me, it's not about, um... Age? It's not necessarily about your age. Nah, it's about do you... Do you handle your responsibility sure. now? Now, exactly now. But see, because I don't go 20, by. If she's twenty and she's still in your house, does she want to do that? If she's twenty and she's still in my house, yeah. I mean, if she got a, if she got a, if she got a job and she, she doing what she's supposed to do, and she ain't running the street, and she ain't smoking and drinking and running around yeah, with man. a whole bunch of niggas and shit, like yeah, you can do what you <laughs> want to do. Bunch of niggas, like man. even even. Even, Cause I just feel like this. even that you ain't gonna be in my crib doing none of that wild shit. Like I feel you're like, not doing that. Cause I feel like this. I feel like uh like I I, I feel like hmm. I feel like sometimes because I watch friends that I had around me. Sometimes when you are too, and I saying you, I'm just saying in general for people watching because that that's the question we asked. So somebody might be watching like fuck out of here. I'm never letting my child do it. I just feel like when you're too strict or you too they become, wanna, rebellion, they become yeah. rebellion and then they start doing shit and as parents you're really not gonna kick your fucking daughter out like that it depends so i just feel like if they if they do if they're doing like like you just said like you said if they're doing and like my niece if you're doing everything and you have extracurricular activities and you're doing it and it's not because i'm forcing you it's because like my niece she really want to do these shit, these things like yeah. my my one thing about my sister and it get on my nerves sometimes, and she'll watch it. She'll probably be cursing me out. She's like a free spirit type of parent, like a Will and Jada type thing. And I don't agree with that type of parenting, but that's her way with three years, me and my sister three years apart. Her free kids, spirited meaning Meaning what? like she kind of like allow them to... Not, not to do what they want. That's what I'm saying. But she allowed them to like speak their mind, and then it's like, okay. Oh, okay, like, okay, so more, more, um, not as much chastising and more like, um, damn... So I know the word I want to say and I can't grab it. It's like I can't describe but, but it because it's not. It's, it's always an open conversation. It's never exactly. like, yo. I want to hear your mind. And I unless my know. sister, but it's unfair course, too. Because unless her ass is like, fuck that. Yeah, but yeah, other yeah, than yeah. that, the majority of the time, it's like, exactly. Right, the majority of the time, it's like that. And I just feel like. I mm, fuck with that. I, I like that. She's though. like it, that. It, it, gives and you, it gives the kids more confidence. It does. And this is why I think that it works. It works because they both are, their GPA is. Like fucking nah, but ridiculous. see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the here's the, here's the big difference, right? Mm -hmm. Like free spitter with that, not with what you just putting shit on, because I think that's yeah, 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 yeah. But now, she don't do everything like that. Like she like you like she don't put everything on. She just like you don't hear this. She'll be like, "Can I get a ponytail?" I'm like her dinner. She had a uh, some type of dinner with the police 
league or whatever like that. Because she's in that little thing. I forgot what you call it. The, whatever they wear, they little suits and shit. I don't know what the fuck uh, you call um, it. Um, um, JRTC. Yeah, whatever. Those people, whatever. She did it. And they had a, like an auxiliary dinner recently. Now my sister allowed her to do her makeup and stuff like that. Because she going to the ball. Mm -hmm. She with them or whatever like that. Slow. Yeah, she said, okay, so you could do you could do your makeup for that day. But she still had her natural curly hair in. And she had the little dress. Because it was a dress up thing. They had to dress up. So she wanted to do her makeup. And my sister said, mm, okay, you could do it. For me, I feel like, girl, go put some little gloss on and get the fuck out the house. I feel like that because I, I don't know. I like to, when I look at my niece and I didn't push out, but I still see the baby because yeah. me and my sister are three years apart. So my sister had her really young and I was the one taking care of her while my sister was finishing school. Mm. So it's like, when I look at her, I'm like, damn, this little girl grew up so fast. I was just holding you. She used to be at my knees telling me like, oh, come back, like pick me up crying for me to like take her everywhere. And now that she's a, a young adult and I see all these things, I'm like, um, I'm the one that don't want her to grow up. Yeah, I'll be course. sitting there telling my sister, like, fuck out of here. It's of crazy people. So it's like, I, I don't what know. Say? It's my fault, boy. Yeah. Not like, um, like, yeah. The, 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 the thing is, um, I'm not going to say parents back in the, back in the days, they, they made a mistake. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't think they did. Mm -hmm. And this, it, this is getting to my point. Like, when you, um, the point that you brought up about being too strict and you wind up losing your kids. Mm -hmm. I believe that to a certain extent. Yeah. But here's the thing. See, a lot of times when kids will ask their parents, right, oh, why? Why I can't do that? Because I said so. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because I said so. Yeah. See, me, I don't do that with my kids. When 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 they ask me something and I, be, and they, and I tell them, like, yo, look, you can't do this or stop doing that or I don't want you doing that and they say why, I tell them why. Mm -hmm. So I give them understanding. You and know why what I'm saying? Can't do it. Yeah, yeah, I give them. I give them understanding. Like just like um, like my 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 um five year old daughter. Like I already know she's gonna want weaving her hair because she wear like <laughs> undershirts on her hair like like it's weave. Oh. Like it's oh, a, she's so like, so she probably a girly girl. You have two daughters, right? Yeah. So she probably the girly girly girl. You know how like you have some girls and yeah. like that's that goes back to saying when we talked about before on. Um, how your kids are when like they're younger, like you know what I'm saying, like when they when they they born to be a certain way. Yeah. You know, how sometimes people mm -hmm. give an interview when they old and they be like, I always knew I was gonna do makeup yeah, because yeah. when I was younger, for I no reason, I, I used to just go in my mother's room. Your, your wife don't even have to do makeup in front of her. She probably would just literally go to her, like it's just it's natural to her. Yeah. So she yeah. probably be a hairstylist. You never know. She may maybe, but she ain't gonna be wearing no weave at ten years old. <laughs> I can tell you that no, shit right no, now. She ain't gonna be. Yeah. She ain't gonna be wearing no wigs at 15 years old. Like yeah. she, we not doing yeah, that. Wig. That's what we not gonna it do. It really fucks you know what I'm saying? Mental stability, man. Just the strength of knowing yo, whatever I am and what I possess isn't good enough. I Cause you got women out here. Head, like nigga. Yeah, and you, you don't got. Need that. She's and gonna. Got, she's yeah, gonna. That, she, she gonna love her natural self. That's true too. Cause you got women. Accept that. You got women out here who who really. Don't leave out the house without their wigs. That's what I'm saying. And without makeup. And so that's true. To the kids. So I feel like it's true to an extent. Like for me, I don't, let me tell you something. I'm the, I'm the type of person, I wake up in the morning, I go to the corner store, it'd be like a little crust right here. I don't give a fuck. I be having some old beat up joints, I go to the corner store. I see people in here trying to talk to me, I think you're a dirty dude. I be like, you trying to talk to me like this, my breath stink, all types of shit, and I'm in here just to get like a bag of chips or something, or maybe like my breakfast sandwich and stuff. I look at people like that. Like I just feel like I don't have to wear a wig. Or weave to to make me look good. Like this ponytail. First of all, this this morning, this little shit right here was all the way right here, and this here was like that. This was all sticking up, and I went right to the corner store and got me my little uh, juice and everything, whatever else I bought in there. I ain't gonna say and whatever else I bought in here. <laughs> and I went the fuck upstairs or whatever the case may be. And I was like, yeah, right, whatever like that. So I just feel like some women, you need to learn how to love yourself and, yeah, and get your shit together. So uh, that's my that's my only thing. Like I I'm, I'm not saying that my daughter can't never, never do wear it. it. It's just that certain age you want to My my, my thing like is my thing is she's, she's she's going to grow up. She's going to look in the mirror. She's going to see herself with natural hair before she before she get to that age of looking at herself in the mirror with the little bit of makeup and nails and stuff and all that stuff on and. Oh, I look. Oh, I look pretty like this. Or I like this. Or I want to keep doing this more. Like, nah, you want to look at yourself in the mirror, and you're going to accept who you are and what you look like. You understand what I'm saying? I That's want, all I'm saying. I want to read this real quick because I thought it was interesting. Before we get into the Q's and A's, um, I was watching a show called Play. Um, the host name was Trisha, and is I think it airs in England. 
anyway, it was on YouTube, so you guys can check that out. Play, and um, the lady name is Trisha. Anyway, according to her, in England, weaves and extensions were a white woman thing. It wasn't a black woman thing. White woman wore weaves and extensions. Yeah. According to, you know, her t British, matter of fact, you know, a British talk show or whatever like that. How do you guys feel about that? Do you think that's true or false or what do you guys think about that? No, it, it is. It came from a white person, a white woman. Uh, hair extensions and weave. It came, it originated yeah, I, from them. From what I, from what I read, I, I believe that was something that was true. It, I didn't it know that. Some, some, some yeah. Shit. Yeah, and they but start wearing it like, first. So we brought mad shit here. Bro, look like, up. Literally, like, the way we eat. Like, the culture, the voodoo mm -hmm. shit. Voodoo is, like, really some spiritual shit that they try to put under the rug that's some wild shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's the it same thing y'all doing. Because like. the Geechee, my, my, my mother's side of the family, Geechee, uh, Southerners. Okay. You understand? And, uh, you know, mixed up in there with Cherokee Indian and stuff like that. And they... My grandmother was a firm believer of the third eye. She's always yeah. telling me I'm, my name is sister. She's always said I have a third eye. Yeah. Like, I really am into my... Like, if you... People know me who... If you really know me, you know, like, if you had a conversation with me about, like, spiritual stuff or a feeling of minds that I ever had or whatever the case may be, I could sit there and tell you something and you'd be like, how the fuck she knew that? Especially if I'm fucking with a dude. He'll tell you, like, anybody I fucked with, they'll be like, yo, she be on point. Like, mm -hmm. she, I'll be foreseeing shit, and I'll be like, nah, nah, that don't feel... So I do feel like that. I feel like the voodoo is... is it was meant to be a spiritual thing, but people do use it for negativity. Yeah. And they do, they do, yeah. uh, you know, bless or, or bring up bad spirits to, to yeah. get things and gain things out of life, whether it works or not. Um, but I, di I didn't know that part about the um, the, the yeah. European woman with the hair or whatever like that. Yeah, like even even like um, like the judges back in the days when they had the hair and the curls. Like that's not their real hair. They take that shit no, off. No, I know. You know? Yeah, you know I know. Saying? I have a lot of those young. I didn't know that shit. No, when I was yeah. young, I didn't know that shit. I was like, why are these white men got that hairstyle? Like, All right. <laughs> real quick, real quick. Um... Going back to England and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. You know how the white women used to have them, them big fluffy dresses? Mm -hmm. They got that from, um, and I saw a picture. I forgot her name. It was a black woman. I know like, you about. Yeah, her, I know you like, about. Like, like her, her ass was crazy. Yeah. So every time she but wore a dress, it would, it would be... You want that? Yeah, you yeah, want yeah, the yeah, they raped? They had it, enough, the, this was like the this was like thing. I think it was like in the seventeen hundreds or some That's shit like that. It was it was it was like thousands of years ago. Like you know what I'm saying? She like naturally she had a body, so when she wore dresses, it it'd be like all the way out there. So now, um, the white men they was they was raping her and all that because obviously she was like a slave. Yeah. So they have her standing in front of people as a show or yeah. some naked shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what they did was After they started Eva making her name. those dresses. In that they style. started making those dresses, and white women, white women was wearing that. You know what I'm saying? That's to make it crazy. seem like they yeah, they had nice. big butts and shit like that. That's that shit is, that shit is crazy. Like that shit is. Shit, you know what I mean? Fucked up, and that's literally what we're going through now. Look at what literally what's going on. Well, that, that's niggas like Kylie Jenner and all these different people. Niggas is really that didn't look like this. Kim Kardashian didn't look like how she looks right now mm -hmm. years ago, but nobody cares because now it's a thing that's in. Like, mm -hmm. and you got black ladies following that same method. Like, yo, y'all really bad. They're copying you. Like they like you. I don't want to do nothing to my face, and they shouldn't want my lips any bigger than what they are, because I think they look crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, shit is wild. Uh, how to deal, accusing uh, A's, and somebody wrote, how to deal with a sociopath, Belinda Alvarez. How do you deal with a sociopath? Stay away from them. <laughs> stay away from them. I feel like you can stay away from them, and you deal with them accordingly. Um, a sociopath, is that the one that knows what they're, no, they're unaware. I, I, if I'm right, they're unaware of what they're doing. Um, stay away, deal with them accordingly, shit, I, I'm crazy, I start acting if like they don't, If they don't, if they don't, they don't know what they're doing, like, put them to the side. Like, they know what they're doing, but they're not, it, okay, when I say that, I mean, they know what they're, of course you know what you're doing in life, you're going to ask, you're doing things, but I don't, they're unaware of their behavior, mm -hmm. and that's the way to put it. And I feel like, bitch, I'm going to be unaware of mine soon, fuck you, I'm going to be unaware, because I ain't got time to be fucking babying you, that's what I'm not going to do. Yeah. yeah. Skrilla. Yeah, this is a funny question. Uh, how can you work with such a sexy, sexy co-host, Bless from Queens? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bless. Um, mm, I'm smitten. Um, <laughs> it's easy. I mean, I've, I've I've known her since I was like what four or five years old. So, I mean, it's easy for me. You know what I'm saying? How about you? Um, we got history, man. We're family at this point. 
I'm yeah, that's a fact. Leave. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I know her, I know her, all her sisters. I know her moms. Hey, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, respectable. At the end of the day, you already know what type of time it is. Oh, thank you. Uh, so to uh, answer your question, bless. This is for me. Are you single? Came from Brooklyn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, who is it? King from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Uh, I be writing these shits down. I really be taking these here. So I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you watch the podcast, really watch it. Stop answering the uh, what I put on my story for Q's and A's. You'll know that I am. Um, but I'm not taking any more requests right now. I'm busy. I'm booked and busy. No disrespect to y'all. And uh, I'm dating still. So, yeah, um, yeah. No, you're not. We talked about this. I'm dating. I'm dating. I have two people that I'm dating right now. No, and I'm single, though. So, and I don't want to take no more requests. Let me figure myself out. Let me fucking build Maybe my brand. You said you single. Let me. Ain't nobody heard anything else after you single. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me build my brand with Skrilla. Let's build our brand. Let's stop bugging me. Unless you got some fucking, if you if you above me and stuff, you can bring us to that level, then, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm willing to get married and shit. Sharif. Yeah. Oh, this oh. one for you. How bro? can I become an uh, a engineer? School them. Oh. And they ain't got no damn name. Um, number one, study Anonymous. incredibly hard on YouTube. Whatever program you want to use, whether it's Logic, Fruity Loops, Pro Tools, they'll know what that is. Your dog, um, dog me in DAW, like the program you're, you're using to make music on. You got to study. That's number one. Um, and like we just was talking about, on the last uh, episode, prioritizing, really like taking time out every day to really go hard with engineering. Mm -hmm. And then just trying to find like your network, finding people that make music and seeing how you can get into these different rooms and learning what you, what you, taking what you've studied and actually applying it and trying to really build up your ability to be an engineer, really, man. It takes, it takes years. It took us years. I'm just, I still don't think I'm good. We, we had a lot of dope people in there, but I know where we could be, so. Where you could take, be, take what time. you know. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, keep working at it. Yeah. Keep um, doing it. Don't like give up. What advice? Practice. What advice would you give, I guess it's for us, to aspiring podcasters? Um, I would just say. You, Come to become a star <laughs> and do a podcast here. That's what you should do. And, and watch them. And I mean, learn a thing or two about a thing or two. I would, yeah, continue to watch us because you're watching us. Continue to watch us. But I will say, too, jump out the window. Just do it. Like, some, don't Hold talk up. about it. I've been. Oh. No, 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 no. You're not wrong in saying that. But I, I just want to add this jump out the window and do it. But have a plan. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, make sure. Um, you and and you could talk about anything, like you know what I'm saying. It, it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying. You could talk about anything. You could do it by yourself. You could get a, a, a co-host or whatever the case may be. But just make sure you um you really sit down and um and you you set what you want to do and how you want to do it. Mm -hmm. The look you're going for. You could uh like the way you want to brand yourself. You could take that name, get a copyright, do a, do a whole bunch of things. Like if you want to start a podcast, it's not just it's not just um, sitting in front of a camera and talking. Like because anybody could do that. Mm -hmm. It's we actually do like a lot of work behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? And we can't we don't just do this just by ourselves. We have an amazing um, engineer. engineer. Even though he <laughs> said he don't feel like he's where he needs to be, but he's damn good. So mm -hmm. definitely check him out because. He's part of the reason why this is going the way it's going. So yeah. just make sure you have a plan and and you follow through with that plan. And, and do it. Um, and do it's it. It's been years of talking. We didn't plan to do this together at the beginning. I always been told I could. Uh, you should. You should have a talk show. You should be yeah. like ex boyfriend. You should be a fucking investigator. You always investigating shit. And da, I was da, da, told da. you talk too much. Exactly. So <laughs> so we it we, worked out for exactly. the both of us. We came together as far as having a conversation one day, and we talked about podcasts. And he's like, oh, I want to do. I was like, yeah, I want to do it too. And we just did it. So when I say jump out the window, just do it. Like don't sit there and keep thinking about we how did it in what, why. Like two weeks, three weeks, we yep. did it. You just we had it. one conversation about it, and we we literally did it. Like the next two weeks, three weeks, and we yes, here now. Yeah. yeah, so I just say like, just continue. Even it's discouraging sometimes too, because it's like you still have to find your niche. You still have we still working on networking. We still working on uh, uh, getting ourselves out there. Like things don't happen overnight. You have people that have been doing this for years, and I came across a lot of people uh, that have dope podcasts on YouTube that they should have way more views or whatever, and they don't at this point either. And they have like a hundred something podcast stuff so it's like you really have to support each other if you want to do a podcast network 
make business cards. Like I, well, my business card's been out, but it's just that I made some new ones for my business. I'll put that up there, whatever like that. And I added the podcast to it. Um, you know, brand yourself. Whatever your podcast is about, try to go to events that that complement the podcast. We're about everything, networking, whatever. So we're gonna have a couple of more people up here, guests throughout the years to come and you know you'll, you'll see us but i just say like start from the bottom know what you're talking about know what you want and and just do it do it and every day when you're doing it you're going to learn something different you're going to learn how to work your own podcast to what you want it to be the last question is i don't know um who this is from i want to go away with my boyfriend but he think three day weekend getaways are a waste <laughs> So I guess she's asking what should she do or whatever. I feel like, bitch, I don't get a new man. I ain't got time for this shit. No, 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 I'm dead serious. No, I, what I was saying. Break it down. What I was saying is. He said, um, nah, don't um, uh, A three-day weekend is never a waste. It's never a waste. You know what I'm saying? It's, especially me, because I got kids. So it's like, whenever <laughs> whenever I can you get away, alone man. time, I'm like, I, yeah, I'm going to take it. So, I, I mean, a of the side you know what I'm saying? So, I don't I don't know. I don't, exactly. I don't know. Wait, don't say it too loud. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. But I right, do this. You know what I'm saying? I understand that's, that's your man or whatever the case may be, and you want to be with him. But fuck it. If he thinks it's a waste, go by yourself. Be like, yo, oh, babe, look, I'm out. And he'd be like, oh, what? Wait, why? Like, wait, wait, nah, you thought it was a waste, so I'm out. This is what I want to do. I told you before you ain't want to come because it's a waste, so I'm out. Look, I already booked my ticket, so I'll see you uh, in, on, on, a, on a fourth day. Uh -huh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'll see you in four more days. And I guarantee you, he going to start pulling up. And if he don't, he cheating to get rid of him. And I'm telling you right now, look at his face. He's like, what? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this, too. Um, we have a conversation first. I don't got time yeah. for that. Like, he did, I will do some shit like that. Or I will fucking go with my homegirls. I will always want to go somewhere with my lady. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think a three-day vacation is a waste. No, and when he say waste, I don't understand like what's going on. Do he think it's a waste because he want to do a bigger vacation? Is it a waste do, like he don't got enough yeah, money? Yeah, he don't got enough money. Or do he feel like it's a waste of time to go away for three days when y'all could go somewhere farther for more? I like getaways. I'm, I, I, I like things like that. I like, and like and people don't like it, I'm going to fuck. I like Atlantic City. I like to get away from New York. Even if it's uh, still the hood or whatever like that. I like to be in the casinos, you know. They have good restaurants. Yeah, I like they do. To, they I do. like the, I like the summertime of Atlantic City because they have all the hookah bars outside. They got all the fucking beach strip. Like the fucking hookah out there look like the little Miami. Okay, I love that shit. I like um his, his, the Hamptons. This is where the millennial shit come in. Go Dutch. If he if he, <laughs> if you put the pressure in that to pay for that shit, maybe that's why he's saying he's, it's a waste and he can't afford it. Yeah. When you put up your money like you know what, baby. It depends on how long y'all been together. Don't listen to Sharif. Yeah. How long y'all been yeah, together? Right, right. Now how long y'all been I'm together? I'm definitely not. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't going no trips at all. Never. You, we ain't going Dutch, motherfucker. You better play this shit. <laughs> no, I feel, like, I feel like I'm gonna take care of you when we are solidified. Yeah. I don't want to take care of you when we mm -hmm. first having our first few dates. That's what I'm That's saying. Dutch. I mean, if this your boyfriend. This <laughs> how you know what I mean? That's when we go Dutch. Yeah, we did though. Yeah. You gonna get left the fuck? I'm Sharif would never be you. taking me nowhere because he would get left you. in the fucking restaurant. Let me tell you something. I'm going to get up with my say, bag. That's when we go down. <laughs> <I'm late. laughs> so, so I feel like this. Maybe together, it could be a money issue. Maybe he needs to pay for the hotel. Maybe you need to pay for a plane ticket, uh, a plane ticket or where you going. Cat. Go to the to suggest somewhere cheaper. Oh. Time out. Time out. Time out. Oh. He said three days, three days is a waste, right? Three days is not a lot. You can do three days, two nights. That's not a lot. That's what I'm saying. So it got so, me something. Listen. You know why I like Maryland Beach? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's cool. Washington, D.C. is a fucking trip away. You go to Washington, D.C. and go to like where they have the little, uh, damn, they have the little thing on there with the people that passed away, the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go over there, you can go what? see the, what? What? I forgot. Oh. Some, I forgot what you call it. I went there before my aunt. It's like, like yes, they have that out there. You go to the freaking, uh. Now, it's mad affordable it's, shit. Yeah, you so the, it's yeah. not. You go to Chicago yeah. and eat the fucking pizza. They got a famous place in Chicago. Deep I want to go there, deep dish pizza. Please take me there, somebody. I'm single. <laughs> Take me there. I want to go here now. We can sleep in separate beds and separate rooms, but I want to go there. I want to go to Chicago. On, I want to go, um, yeah, okay, let me stop saying what I want to go for somebody to sign my motherfucking DM. Because niggas do be on the Facebook, though. When they be his ass tag stuff or whatever like that, I do see people that probably mutual friends or whatever, and sometimes people write me, and I'm like, who the fuck is this? And they write me, oh, so you like this? And I'm like, oh, who the fuck is this clown? I'm going to make <laughs> fucking sense. Look. 
She advertising herself, take me to Chicago for this exactly, pizza. Exactly, exactly. And then when niggas responding, but like, But it's the way clown? you do it, though. I, oh, my God. I want what I want, and I want what I want. I don't, I don't like that. Don't come with my dear. Oh, you're like this. And then I just feel like it's so corny. Yeah, just like talk that. to me. Just be like, yo, what's up? Or whatever like that. Your, your last, you can give me like this. I'm going to give you a little secret. He said, don't do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do one don't thing. Do don't do it. Don't do, do it. it. Fuck it. Do it. Now nah, do, do it. it's over. Don't leave don't him do on it. a cliffhanger like that. Hell no. No, let him. <laughs> let him. Sometimes, listen, listen, listen. Cause I'm, I don't I'm, like I'm, the way I'm, they be telling I, me. Like I don't. I'm for the, I'm, I'm for the, I'm for the dudes, right? Like I always want us to win, but fuck that. Sometimes niggas just gotta figure shit out and smarten up, bro. You, you know what I'm that's saying? True. If a, if a, if a chick, if a chick gave me all of the answers to get to her, bro, that shit is a turn off. I'd be like, you know what? I'm, I'm good. Not, like, yeah. Uh, imagine how many other people is trying to blah blah blah. Yeah. You know true. what I'm saying? Like, nah. But just fuck don't. That. All right, I'm talking about don't like. Just don't do that no more. Don't come in the DM talk about something. So hey, you like? I don't like no. Just because you watch the show, you know, like, no, I don't. Niggas I don't, don't know. know what to say to you, bro. You can say anything. It's a lot of shit no, to say. No, they can't say anything yeah, because when they say certain shit, you be like, I don't like that. Like, so but I don't, they, I'm, compli like, I'm complicated. Just say something that makes sense. Be smart. Just do that. Think about it. How would you want somebody to talk to your daughter when she become of age of dating? Think about that, and then you do that with me. How about that? That's smart enough for you to realize and think about. How would you want somebody to approach your mom if your mom was dating out there? Think about that. I'll leave the show like that. <laughs> That's what you can do. Peace out. We got Sharif. Yeah, we got real, real on these. She got a fresh. <laughs> we out of here.